Hello everyone. So we will continue the topic inheritance and final class. In the previous video, we learned a final class is a class by which you cannot create inheritance. And how we created the final class? Whenever we are creating with the help of SC24, we simply select the checkbox final. Suppose now we will learn with the help of coding how we can create a final class and is it supporting inheritance or not. It means in this particular video, we will create a program and from the program or with the help of code, we will learn how to create a final class. I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some program name. I will give some title to the program. To understand the concept of inheritance and final class. I'll take the type as executable program and I will save it as a local object. I will take a parameter in the program. We'll take the same input for sales document number. I will pass the data element for sales document number. I'm activating the program. I will pass the selection text, go to text element, selection text, sales document number, and I'm activating it. I'm running the program. So input is ready. Now what we will do, we will create a class first. We will make the class as final and then we will see, am I able to create the subclasses from that final class? Then we will proceed further. We all know whenever we want to create a class, we have to go for class definition first. So I'm writing class class one definition end class it is very easy if we are clear about the steps of sc24 what we did in sc24 whenever we tried to create a final class what we did we gave a class name and we selected the checkbox final with the help of coding, if you want to make a final class, we only have to use the keyword final. Yes. Now, now, what we did after that in SC24, you declared one method display as public. So I'll go for public section. I will declare a instance method. If I am using the word methods, means it is a instance method. Display. I took four importing, one importing parameter and four exporting parameters. Exporting. Er that. PER num, ERZET, PER num, PVP type. PER 
in SC24, when we created the final class, we did the same thing. Now, what we will do? We will do the class implementation now. Class, class one implementation. End class. We know whenever we want to write the logic, you can write the logic in class implementation. Method, what is my method name? Display and method. I will write the logic in this particular method. Select er dat er zdt er num bb type from bb ak into I'll pass the variable names p e r dat p e r z e t p e r num p v p type i will write select single because i am fetching a single record i i will pass the where condition where v p e l n is equal to p v p i'll check the syntax v b a k is the table i'll check the syntax and activate the program now we will try to create a subclass or i'll say child class from this final class and we will see are we able to create or not so i'll simply write class class 2 suppose my name of the subclass is class 2 i have to use the word inheriting from i'll write class 2 definition inheriting from class 1 if you remember in sc24 to understand the concept of final class what we did after that we created a sub class we tried to create a subclass and we pass the name of the final class in the super class if you remember what we did in sc24 at that point of time we tried to create a subclass and we tried to give the name of the final class here and we got the error that you cannot create subclasses same thing we are doing now our final class name is class one from the class one we are trying to create class two and i will write end class now i will check the syntax and you can see system is giving the same to same error to me that you cannot create subclasses if you have the final class so if a class is final you cannot create subclasses rest part we will continue in the next video thank you